Hello everybody, I am Ben from Team Panic and it is time for another ARC monthly meet and this time around we are doing ant weights and we are doing beetle weights. So uh, the videos that have been leading up to this one, the ring spinner and uh, the upgrade for the toe spot are the two robots uh, that we're going to go in. So that is Make Like a Tree, my ring spinner and Breakfast, my uh, beetle weight bar spinning robot made out of a toaster. So. Uh, without further ado, let's get into some fights and see how we did. So I didn't end up fighting breakfast because the upgrades actually made it almost impossible to drive. I was finding that uh, the belts were just slipping way too much and I wasn't actually able to get it dri to drive around the arena. So I knew that if I put it into, the, like, into full combat like this, I would have just uh, had it completely destroyed, so I decided it was best for everybody just to leave it out, which means the only fights from here on out are my ring spinner. So let's see those. And here we go. This is the maiden fight of the V10 of Don't Need Roads, and the ring spins up really, really good. But then after the first fight, uh, first hit, I should say, the ring stopped, as you can see here. So. I came to learn after this fight that uh, basically it slipped off one of the drive, uh, off one of the pulleys, one of the, uh, yeah, the bearings that I've got sitting in there, and it jammed up. Now, then on top of all of that, uh, so I wasn't too worried about his weapon, it's just a spring-loaded hammer, it wasn't really doing too much damage, but then uh, one of my wheels slipped out and jammed up against the ring, kind of binding that up as well, which meant that at this point I am basically stuck weaponless and without one wheel. So this fight is going to go about as well as you can expect. Okay, so second fight, and there is no major uh, repairs that were done after the first fight. I just popped the ring back into place and kind of tightened down my motor mount to make sure everything worked. And this time round, I got the ring spinning up a couple of times and got some really good hits going. And then the same thing happened as in the first time. Uh, well, at least I thought so. The ring came off and in actual fact came completely underneath the robot. And I then got stuck on the ring, which uh, wasn't great. But I did manage to make my way off again, so the fight could continue. But of course, I uh, then went from being a weapon robot to a weaponless robot. And it didn't go very well. And the wheel fell off. Uh, these TPU wheels that I'm running are a little bit old, so... I'm guessing the D shaft got a little bit stretched out because it should not have uh, not have done that that badly. But I still stayed in this fight for a little bit longer, even with one wheel. Um, I was actually the perfect size to fit into my opponent's scoop, which is never really a good thing here. So my third fight was against Shrapnel, which is the heavy hitting horizontal spinner of our group, and I had to actually replace the weapon ring for a backup because in the previous fight the weapon ring had actually broken. Uh, which had meant that that's why it had come off the robot completely. So the PLA weapon ring wasn't the greatest idea. And then in this one, uh, the first hit knocks off a tooth and also jams the silicon of my wheel into my uh, weapon ring, which means that the weapon can no longer spin up. And I'm kind of stuck upside down, but thankfully he just kind of keeps hitting my, uh, my top plate and then manages to take a wheel off me, or take the silicon off my wheels and jam it into his weapon, which means He's now weaponless. So this uh, is actually probably the best way this fight could have gone for me because now his weapon is completely disabled. Admittedly, I'm upside down and I don't have silicon on my wheels so I have barely any traction, but I'm not taking any more damage. So <laughs> that was good, but then, of course, into the pit as well. Fourth and final fight time now, and I repaired the original black ring with some super glue because the red ring had one of the weapon teeth taken off of it, which would mean it would be very unbalanced to fight with. And then this fight was versing Blade Tip, a weaponless wedge, and right off the bat I had some control issues and then re-shattered the ring. That's exactly what's happened there. I've just got stuck. Uh, now stuck on top of my own ring, which is not great. Uh, it's a little hard for me to actually get off the ring again because it's sitting perfectly in underneath the robot. I did manage to hit him with the ring but not spun up the way I wanted to uh, and now I'm kind of jammed in the corner directly underneath the camera which is making it rather hard to see everything that's going on right here uh, and unfortunately I'm now high sided on the ring and I can't get off so I'm spinning weapon motors up, I'm trying everything I can but unfortunately I get counted out for the fourth straight loss. 
uh, for Make Like a Tree. So there we go, not a great month uh, on the whole. As you saw, uh, breakfast here didn't fight at all. I just, the, the drive issues really got to me and I just couldn't do it. Uh, so we're going to have to do another version of this guy and push the wheels further forwards. And I think rather than belt drive, we're actually gonna print uh, gears into the whole train so that the gears will mesh nicely and I won't have to worry about belt slip. I think that will help out everything. And yeah, it's really just because these wheels are too far back and too low. I really do need to move the bolt hole for where they mount up. Um, so we'll see this guy back again. He will get a version three that does actually move and do things as they are supposed to. I also might actually do an upgrade for this too when I'm doing that and move from a thousand uh, kV brushless motor in there to a 2.2 thousand kV brushless motor in there, which is going to be a huge improvement because it's going to double the blade speed and that is going to make this thing just scary, really, really scary. So I'm keen to do that. Uh, and then of course we had Make Like a Tree, the ring spinner that <laughs> didn't win a single fight for the day. And mostly that was because this ring kept breaking and there's a break in the ring even now. Uh, so that's, I guess, what I get for printing a weapon for a combat robot. Uh, it just did not do very well on the whole. So I think this guy is gonna have to move through and have a version 11. Instead of having a printed ring, I wanna do a laser cut ring instead. Probably do it out of uh, Cetal, which is also kind of known as Delrin uh, around the place. But that's gonna mean that I'm gonna have to change all of the bearings and everything all over again. We're gonna have to do something brand new for this. And yeah, I, I don't really know how, what that's gonna look like yet, but we'll have to get that up and running again before July because I wanna run this at a big meet that we're having in the middle of July. So yeah, not great for <laughs> the ring spinner. I do have some ideas on whether or on how to fix it, as I said, but yeah, I'm, I'm really, I'm not sure if I'm going to yet or not. I, <laughs> I've spent a lot of time trying to get this thing to spin and when it did spin, it didn't work very well. So. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see how we go with that one, but I, yeah, it, it's gonna be a little while yet before I pick the ring spinner design back up. Uh, yeah, so anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed that one, and I will see you in the next video.